This is another sign of the times, an analysis and a commentary. Wildfires and Gulf force in the West. A fast growing wildfire is raging through dry forests and hillside subdivisions in northern Colorado, charring homes and forcing hundreds of families to evacuate in the latest out of control blaze to scorch the parched West. The fire was probably sparked by a lightning strike on Saturday, officials said, and it quickly exploded in size. By Monday, it had burned across nearly 60 square miles in the mountains, some 50 miles west of Fort Collins, a college town, destroying more than 100 structures and spearing thick columns of smoke visible from miles away. One person had been reported missing thought to be dead, local officials said. There were no reports of serious injuries beyond a firefighter who suffered heat exhaustion. In south central New Mexico, hundreds of people were forced to flee an uncontrolled 54 square mile fire near Rio Doso as it engulfed home after home. In the Gila National Forest in southwestern New Mexico, fire crews were still battling the largest blaze in the state's history, but officials reported that after burning for nearly a month across 434 square miles and more than 278,000 acres, the fire was 37% contained. Fire officials said the fire in Colorado, named the High Park Fire, was the worst fire in the area in at least two decades. Fueled by whipping winds and dry brush left after an arid winter and during a hot spring flames jumped across roads raced up and down hillsides and doubled back on firefighters burning some areas twice these things come together and you can have a fire like this said a spokeswoman for the joint command fighting the high park fire officials cautioned that they might not have control of the blaze anytime soon but they said they had not issued any evacuation orders for Fort Collins or its suburbs. 400 firefighters were on the ground, with 100 more expected to arrive soon, and more than a dozen air tankers and helicopters had been sent toward the blaze. With slim chances for rain in the immediate forecast, fire officials were hoping that calmer winds, lower temperatures, and more humid skies would help them halt the growth of the blaze, but they said it was still too dangerous to return to affected communities to assess what had been destroyed and what had survived. And now, they say, climate change will make wildfires in the West, like those now raging in parts of Colorado and New Mexico, more frequent over the next 30 years, researchers have reported. More broadly, almost all of North America and most of Europe will see an increase in wildfires this century, the scientist wrote in the journal Ecosphere, a publication of the Ecological Society of America. The U.S. Southwest, Arizona, New Mexico, and Texas is the fastest warming region of the United States, and this warming trend will worsen droughts, alter growing seasons, and increase wildfire risk, the nonprofit research organization. Climate Central reported at least 20 large wildfires are burning in eight western states from Idaho and Wyoming to California, Arizona, and New Mexico, according to the U.S. Forest Service. Using satellite-based fire records and 16 different climate change models, an international team of researchers found that while wildfires will increase in many temperate zones, Due to rising temperatures, fire risk may actually decrease around the equator, especially in tropical rainforests, because of increased rainfall. In the long run, we found what most fear, increasing fire activity across large areas of the planet, said lead author Max Moritz of the University of California, Berkeley. But the speed and extent to which some of these changes may happen is surprising. 
These abrupt changes in fire patterns not only affects people's livelihoods, but also they add stress to native plants and animals that are already struggling to adapt to habitat loss, Moritz said in a statement. They say that this study gives a unique global perspective on recent fire patterns and the relationship to climate. Climate scientists, including those affiliated with the United Nations Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change, have projected that more frequent wildfires would be likely in a warming world. Other effects of climate change include more severe storms, floods, and droughts, these scientists have said. In a separate study, researchers approved of the intentional setting of controlled fires, a wildfire fighting technique that has sometimes raised questions about its impact on wildlife. Writing in the June issue of the journal Bioscience, researchers at the University of California, Berkeley, reviewed two decades of research on the ecological impact of cutting forest wildfire risk, especially in the southern Sierra Mountains, where precipitation was at half of normal levels. The idea behind so-called controlled burns is to reduce the amount of fuel that would feed a wildfire. A new study found that these fuel-reducing fires do not cause substantial harm. The few effects we did see were usually transient, said a researcher. Based upon what we found, forest managers can increase the scale and pace necessary fuels treatments without worrying about unintended ecological consequences. A warming climate makes the carbon dioxide stored in forest soils decompose faster, sending more climate warming carbon into the atmosphere. Researchers at the University of California, Irvine, and elsewhere have reported in the Journal Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences in other words, wildfires in the western United States and elsewhere are increasing in frequency, size, and intensity. This too is another sign of the end of times as we know them, transition days, which is a time of extraordinary changes, happenings, and events. Everything that must change, must change quickly rapidly and for the better. It's also about what kind of world are we leaving to the future generations. Revelation chapter 8 verse 12 And the fourth angel sounded and the third part of the sun was smitten and the third part of the moon and the third part of the stars so as the third part of them was darkened and the day shone not for a third part of it the night likewise. 13. And I beheld and heard an angel flying through the midst of heaven, saying with a loud voice, Woe, 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 to the inhabitants of the earth by reason of the other voices of the trumpet of the three angels, which are yet to sound. Revelation chapter 16, verse 7. And I heard another out of the altar say, Even so, Lord God Almighty, true and righteous are thy judgments. 8. And the fourth angel poured out his vial upon the sun, and power was given unto him to scorch humans with fire. 9. And humans were scorched with great heat, and blasphemed the name of God, which has power over these plagues, and they repented not to give him glory. 10. And the fifth angel poured out his vial upon the seat of the beast, and his nation, our kingdom, was full of darkness, and they gnawed their tongues for pain. 11. And blasphemed the God of heaven because of their pains and their sores, and repented not of their deeds. 12. And the sixth angel poured out his vial upon the great river Euphrates, the water thereof was dried up, that the way of the kings and leaders of the east might be prepared. It's 
time for the physical and spiritual manifestation of the book of Revelation, and all these are more signs.